Hey everyone, it's Sean here, your guide to Warcraft, with a guide on how to get the Thunderbrew Boot Flask. This is a small little AoE trinket that you can get as the Alliance at level 40 plus. So for me, playing a warrior without too much AoE and just the fact that trinkets are quite few and far between in classic anyway, this is an item and a quest line I would recommend doing. So you want to head to where I am in Westfall here, you want to talk to this dwarf. You may remember him if you've done some leveling up. But instead, at level 40, you can return and you can get the Sweet Amber quest chain. This quest chain will award quite a bit of money, quite a bit of XP, and a trinket that if you don't want, you can vendor for one gold, so it's not all bad. So you want to head to Stranglethorn, where I was here. Now, you're going to need some Holy Spring Water. So if you remember this area, this is where all of the Naga are, and you want to go across this bridge and you want to click on the fountain over here. If you have played retail and you've done the Stranglethorn quest chain, you will probably remember that this is actually required, I believe, for just one of the normal quests. But in Classic, this one was a bit more mysterious. So this water is needed for this quest. So go take that water, hand it back in, and then you will get a quest to find a load of green scattered around Azeroth that he needs to make his brew. Now, at this point, I decided to get the coordinate add-on because it was going to make my life and my life making this on YouTube a lot easier. So... Head to those coordinates in the Swamp of Sorrows, and there you will find the Sack of Barley next to this cauldron. They blend in very well. They don't really stand out very much unless you actually mouse over them. But as long as you go to these coordinates, you will find it. The next one is in Tanaris at these coordinates just on the right hand side of the map near the water and you can see this camp here and just laying on the ground is a sack of corn. You want to pick that up and then we are two out of three for this quest and the last one will take you to the hinterlands. So go to these coordinates and you will find a camp of trolls. I had to clear these trolls out. Actually, I died a couple of times actually, but right here you will find a sack of rye just outside of their tent there. Pick that up and you will have all three of these done. Head back to Westfall. We're going to hand that quest in. And of course, you will get another follow-up, but look, you get one gold, one gold for that quest. Then you want to go and get a true silver bar. Now, even as a miner at level 40, I couldn't smelt true silver, so the best way to do this is just to head to the auction house. The, like I think the quest reward more than covers it. After that, you'll get a quest to go to Feralus. You want to head to those coordinates, and you just want to kill this tree that wanders around this rough area of Feralus. Kill him, head back. Very, very easy. Get the branch, and then, you know, even more reward. And then here, the last question, and then you will get the Thunderbrew Boot Flask, and you will be asked to go to Searing Gorge. Now, if you're doing this at level 40, you probably haven't gone to Searing Gorge yet. It's more of like a 48 to 50 zone, so you want to head to the western side there, of the Badlands. Now, the reason you want to do this is because this is where you can actually enter Searing Gorge from. You can see that's the entrance we came down behind my character. And then here at 5652 in Searing Gorge where I'm standing, you can see over there that's where we came in. And then just over here is this like charred branch. This is the, yeah, the charred oak. So you just want to dismount, click that, and then this will be the last thing that the Thunderbrew Dwarf will require to make his brew. Once we've done that, of course, head back to Westfall, hand it in, and you will receive your trinket. And like I said, as a warrior, this trinket, pretty handy. It does have a 30-minute cooldown, does get you drunk, but I think if you're in a tight spot and you need a little bit of AoE very quickly, this is this is a good trinket, especially as, you know, like I said, trinkets are few and far between. If I wasn't an engineer, I probably wouldn't have any trinkets, to be honest, so... It's pretty handy, but that is all for this video, so thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more guides and videos. If you have any suggestions for classic guides you would like to see, I'd love to do them, so drop them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.